All right, Fuzz Pie Guy here. I'm going to show you how to set up the RTL Airband software on a uh, Debian operating system. Now, I, I have this running on a 64-bit uh, computer. So this may or may not work on a Raspberry Pi. So after you do an update, we're going to install some packages here, and I'll leave a link in the uh, description to my website for these. And once you have these installed, download the software, get that built, and we'll be good to go. So we just got to install a few things, which I have already done. So once you put in these commands, we can set this up. Now we're going to be playing the audio out through like your computer speakers, whatever you you have plugged in using the uh, Pulse software. So after this, we need to download the software. And the current version of this video is 4.0.3, which I have already done. So after we get it, Downloaded, we can just do a CD into it. Next thing we need to do is make a build directory, which I already have, and we could just CD into that. Once we CD into the build directory, all we got to do is do a CMake, like such, and we can build it. After that, we can just make it, which I have already done. And then we can just do a sudo make install. And with that being done, all we need to do is save our config and we'll be good to go. Now we can CD out of that. And you can put this config where they normally put it, or you can put it anywhere you like but we're just going to put it here in the following directory and I'll have this that you could just use as a sample to uh, get you up and running but this is sort of what it looks like for the RTL we have our gain here our PPM correction we're using the scan mode and as you can see here's our frequencies that we currently have in there now if you want to add more take out some you can just do like 132.2 comma space so that's how you would add them you don't need to put two zeros or whatever and once you're done there we could just do a control x y and enter to save and now what we can do is with our RTL plugged in, we can go ahead and try it out and see if it's going to work. And as you can see, it is scanning the frequencies. So it should be up and working. So I'm going to pause the video and make sure we're getting some audio, and I'll be back. All right, I just verified, and uh, we are getting audio out of the computer speakers that I have plugged in. All right, thanks for watching. Stay tuned for another one.